Right, uh, 
you said, let me do my own thing. But they have to follow the leading of the Lord. Because they can't take down. If they see sin, they're going to war against sin. They see you going into danger. They're going to war against danger. Now the Bible said that after they warn you, hallelujah, you might die in your sin. But the blood is not required on their hands. Let me tell you something. God said he gave you pastors according to his own heart. Watch this. He could not have given us pastors according to our own hearts. Guess why? Because the Bible said the hearts of men are deceiving and desperately wicked. How could God give you a man? How could God give you a woman according to a deceptive heart? How could he do it? Uh, because now uh, you would want to manipulate uh, how they preach. Uh, you would want to tell them uh, what to say, uh, what not to say. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, and so now uh, the Bible lets me know uh, in the 13th chapter uh, of the Romans, uh, oh glory, uh, let every soul uh, be subject uh, to the higher powers. Uh, but there is no power uh, but of God. Uh, the powers that be uh, are ordained of God. Uh, whosoever therefore uh, resisted the power, uh, resisted the ordinance of God, uh, and they that resist uh, shall receive to themselves uh, damnation. Uh, but watch the third verse. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, for rulers uh, are not a terror uh, to but the Bible said, Be holy, as I am holy. They can't represent God except they live holy. And so when they come to you, they come to you in holiness and righteousness. For rulers are not a terror to good works. Let me tell you something. If you're doing good work, they can't be a terror to you. They can only be a terror to you if you're doing evil works. Because evil, evil don't like nothing good. Evil don't like when God speaks. Hallelujah. Evil don't even like to see the light. Because it can't do nothing in the light. It can't operate in the light. It always want to operate in darkness. And when light comes, evil get terrified. Evil get shaken up. Evil has to flee. The darkness now has to leave the room. When light comes, somebody say glory. When light comes, evil has to flee. Be in glory. Darkness has to disappear. Uh, when night comes, uh, somebody say glory. Uh, for rulers uh, are not a terror uh, to good works, uh, but to the evil. Uh, will thou not be afraid of the power? Uh, somebody say glory. Uh, but when the evil is dead uh, and power comes, uh, oh glory be to God. Uh, power take over. Uh, power start to operate. Uh, the Bible said uh, that the Lord uh, brought many miracles. Uh, Wonders uh, on the body of Paul uh, through handkerchiefs uh, and aprons. Uh, oh, glory be to God. Uh, that is what we call power. Power. Because uh, when power comes, uh, oh, glory, uh, it comes to take over evil. Uh, it comes to drive out evil. Uh, it comes to drive out sin. Uh, it comes to drive out unrighteousness. Uh, it comes to drive out unholiness. Uh, but it comes. Uh, Glory, uh, not as a terror, uh, but the good works you're doing. Uh, if you're doing any good work, uh, there should be no reason uh, for you to be afraid. Uh, when the power comes in the room, uh, if you're doing any good works, uh, there should be no reason uh, for you to be upset. Uh, when power comes, uh, if you're doing good works, uh, there should be no reason. Glory be to God. Uh, 
Are you not to be supportive? Huh? When power comes, huh? there should be no reason huh? for you to want to be for you to want flee. Yeah? Glory be to God. Huh? There should be no reason huh? for a shifting, huh? a shaking. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? You were sent into a room huh? and there's a conversation going on. Huh? The minute you walk in, huh? the conversation stops. Huh? Everybody close their mouth. Huh? Sit their lips. Huh? Stop. Because you know, glory be to God, that conversation was not a conversation about anything good. Glory. And so now, for he is, glory be to God, do that which is right, which is good, and that shall have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. Somebody say glory. How are you going to want to talk about leadership? I'm behind their back. They minister to you. You go home and you talk about them. What did they say? What they didn't say? What they want you to do? How they want you to go against that which you want to go? Glory be to God. But let me tell you something. The Bible said all that's in the word, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Let me tell you something. Pride is going to take down a whole lot of us. Pride is going to kill some of us. Pride is going to cripple some of us. Pride is going to take out some of us. Because we don't understand that when leadership speaks, when they minister unto you, they're not ministering anything for you to go against them or go to your family and say, hey, I know that man. And then they start talking. This is what they want me to do. This is what they don't want me to do. They plot and they plan. They make us. They mix. And they go against everything that you preach. Everything that you minister. But when time comes and they find themselves in a rut, in a mess, who they run to, the first thing in that church. Somebody say glory. Somebody say hallelujah. And so the plot goes on. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. The plot goes on. Yeah. When God comes to bail you out tonight, yeah. somebody say glory. Yeah. Because even while your guys are in it, yeah. even while you're doing it, yeah. your hands are to the gospel plot. Yeah. Your hands are to the plot. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. And you're not looking back. Yeah. But some of them, glory be to God. Am I in a holiness church? Yeah. Somebody say glory. Yeah. But some of them, yeah. hallelujah, yeah. their glory, glory be to God. Yeah. They're saying, yeah. what are we doing all of this for? Yeah. It's not necessary. Yeah. And they walk away. Yeah. Don't want to assist. Yeah. Don't want to help. Yeah. They walk away. Yeah. They withdraw their resources. Yeah. I'm going to do what God says tonight. Yeah. I'm going to wake up church. Yeah. I'm going to wake up people. Yeah. I'm going to tell them to rise yeah, from their sleep and their slumber. Yeah. I'm going to tell God yeah, to drop the scales yeah, from their eyes. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. We can look in the book. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The second Kings, yeah, run about the sixth chapter, yeah, in his eye, yeah, oh glory be to God, yeah, he could not see, yeah, the victory coming, yeah, so glory be to God, yeah, he looked at his, at his master, yeah, the prophet Elisha, yeah, or Elisha, however you say it, yeah, and he said, glory, yeah, oh, how are we going to survive this thing, yeah, because the Assyrians, uh, they had Israel surrounded. Uh, there was a many of them. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he couldn't see the victory. Uh, like our many of us uh, can't see the victory. Uh, at 
the beginning, uh, but right now, uh, God has a victory uh, in this house. Uh, oh, glory. Uh, God has victory uh, in this house. Uh, no matter what it looks like, uh, glory be to God. Uh, all you got to say uh, is drop the stairs uh, from my eyes uh, that I may see uh, that the, the, the chariots of fire uh, that surround the enemy yeah, and so he looked uh, at his master uh, and glory to God because uh, his master uh, was a man of God uh, a true man of God uh, glory to God uh, and said uh, he prayed unto God uh, and told God uh, drop the stairs uh, from his eyes uh, that he may see uh, oh glory to God uh, and when the stairs uh, fell from his eyes uh, he so the uh, chariots of fire uh, surround uh, the armies of the Assyrians. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, what am I saying? Uh, there is victory uh, in this house. Uh, but uh, many of us, uh, we have scares uh, on our eyes. Uh, can't see beyond uh, our own nose. Uh, can't see beyond uh, our own pocketbooks. Uh, we're so limited uh, to what we have. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, we can utilize uh, all glory, uh, the bounty uh, that God has in store. Uh, hallelujah. And so we can see uh, the armies uh, that surround us. Uh, because they that are being, that be with us uh, are more uh, than they that are against us. Uh, I want you to understand uh, that I serve a God uh, that when I call, uh, the Bible said, uh, the prayers uh, of the right when I call uh, on the name of Jesus, uh, he heard uh, my cry, uh, he heard uh, my prayers, uh, he answered uh, by and by, uh, I know uh, I serve uh, a risen Savior, uh, I know uh, I serve uh, a living God, because uh, he came uh, to my rescue, uh, he came uh, that church surrounded me, uh, brought me under, uh, brought me out, uh, oh glory, uh, they gave me up, uh, hallelujah, uh, I had to go back in, uh, somebody say glory, uh, because uh, there were complications, uh, but I still pray, because uh, I had strength uh, to pray, uh, they kept me in uh, for a few more days, uh, but here comes God, uh, uh, delivered me uh, from all sorts uh, of infections. Uh, somebody say, Glory, uh, here comes God uh, to my rescue. Uh, he delivered me uh, from all sorts uh, of things uh, that they couldn't find. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, they did a many a test uh, and couldn't find anything. Uh, somebody say, Glory, uh, they did a many a research. Uh, Uh, he said, uh, I encourage myself uh, in the Lord. Uh, 
a million times. That's what you gotta do. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Because you ain't got no support. Because watch this. The very men that he took to war with him. Hallelujah. Won the battle. Brought the spoils home. Are the very ones that wanted to stone him. After they realized that the camp was robbed. After they realized that the camp got messed up. But David, he did not have time to, to water in all of that. Bring the ephod unto the man so he can go to God. And they brought it. And David, he went to God. Because the Bible said he's a man after God's own heart. Glory be to God. How did he get? Yeah. 